Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the eighth annual Meridian Global Leadership Summit. We usually begin today by saying happy Meridian Day, because of course today is the beginning of uh, a day that culminates with the Meridian Ball. Today we're going to say happy Meridian and Nationals Day. Yeah. And uh, for all of those uh, of you from Houston, welcome. We are equally happy to have you here. Uh, you are always welcome in our capital. Um, on behalf of uh, our chair, uh, Ann Stock, and our board of trustees, if you're on the board of trustees or were on the board of trustees, please raise your hand. Thank you for your leadership. We have uh, our, our former chair, Governor Jim Blanchard, is here as well. Welcome, sir. Uh, Meridian is a nonpartisan uh, diplomacy center that connects leaders around the world through collaboration and culture, and we believe that we are uh, stronger at home when globally engaged, and we've been doing this for just about 60 years. And this year, uh, we conducted a variety of programs to advance that mission. All of you are familiar with our work bringing thousands of international leaders to the United States, working closely with the United States Department of State. These are leaders that have in the past included people like uh, Margaret Thatcher, Indira Gandhi, Nicholas Sarkozy, uh, people who have gone on to be heads of state through the International Visitor Leadership Program. And uh, we think it's really important, especially now, that this fabric of connection between leaders in the United States at all levels and, uh, and around the world takes place. And it's against that backdrop also that we've been convening uh, through our Center for Diplomatic Engagement and our Cultural Diplomacy Center doing work to bring culture and the arts around the world because, uh, again, uh, it's a very critical uh, at this point in our history to maintain the institutions and the connections and the fabric of our international affairs. Um, I think we, uh, we know today that the private sector plays an increasingly important role in diplomacy and in international engagement. It's no longer just a government-to-government -government affair. And so today we, we decided to focus this summit on several of the important drivers of our international economic uh, landscape, including energy, uh, trade, international investments. There are transitions and interesting changes and developments and uncertainties around all of those issues. Uh, we also have a couple of longtime partners here that we've worked with on the summit. Uh, we have, of course, the Ronald Reagan International Trade Center, thanks to Andrew Gelfuso and his team and Gallup. Um, for those of you that uh, are familiar with Meridian, I think it was Governor Blanchard who said, you know, we need data to talk about these things and to focus the mind. And we're going to hear um, from Joe Daly, a new trustee, a little bit about some new information about attitudes towards trade. Uh, and of course, you all know Jim Clifton and John Clifton before him served on our board of trustees, so we'd like to thank Gallup. Um, Today wouldn't be possible, today and tonight wouldn't be possible without uh, the leadership of some wonderful people and organizations. Uh, BP America, uh, Mary Street, we're going to be talking a little bit later uh, about uh, the work that they're doing and some of the developments on the, uh, the energy challenge as we look at uh, not only the energy but uh, the environment and international economic growth. Uh, MasterCard, our Global Engagement Chair. Um, we have Mike Froman uh, joining us uh, shortly, uh, and they're doing some exciting work in the digital financial inclusion. Um, Politico, our media partner. Uh, I think we have, um, I'm not sure if Patrick is here, is on the way. Patrick Steele, a great friend of the organization, uh, who knows our deputy, Lee Satterfield, pretty well. Um, we have uh, uh, trustees. Our Global Leadership Council members, welcome. And if you have any questions for the panelists, for those of you that are uh, into this sort of thing, you can, uh, you can uh, tweet your questions with the Meridian Summit hashtag. So we'll be monitoring the questions this morning. Uh, thank you and welcome today's dialogue, today's dialogue and uh, we hope you will enjoy the day and go Nats.